to our Homo sapiens 1 sequence and let's go ahead and highlight both the name Homo sapiens and also the amino acid sequence. So let's copy and paste that into our subject sequence. And now let's go ahead and highlight species 1, 2, and 3, carrot and the name. And go back and enter that into our query sequence. So what we're going to do is compare species 1, 2, and 3 to Homo sapiens. So let's go ahead and blast. And now we have our results. So we are comparing Homo sapien to species one, two, and three. So let's look at species one first. So if we scroll down, here we have the comparison between Homo sapiens one and species number one. Now the identities is the amount of amino acids that are similar in the sequence. So out of the 100, and amino, 100 amino acids we entered, 38 of them matched. So the identity value would be a 38%. So you can go ahead and would report that number in your table. So this is saying that species one and Homo sapiens is 38% similar for this protein. And in fact, if you look down here, you'll see the query sequence, which is the species one, compared to what says subject, which is our Homo sapien. So the line in the middle would be the amino acids compared. So when you see an amino acid listed, for instance, like G, that means that it's similar in both of the species. D, similar in both of the species. So this is true for 38 of the 100 amino acids. You see a match. Now for the remaining 62 that do not match, you can tell here because there's either a blank or a plus. So where there's a blank or a plus, that's where the amino acids do not match. So for instance, species one have an A, whereas Homo sapien has a B. Over here, species one have an R, whereas Homo sapien has a K. So you can go ahead and look at that for each species comparison. So that was for species one. If you scroll down and click species two, you'll notice that there is a 47% match, or that the identity value that you report. And again, you could do that for species three. So comparing species three to Homo sapiens, and scroll down, there is a 40% identity value match. So when you're looking to answer number four, which is what amino acids are different between Homo sapiens and pantroglodytes, which is the chimp, what you want to do again is actually compare the sequences of the chimp on the top and the homo sapiens on the bottom and look for where you see the pluses and the blanks and that'll tell you how similar the chimp is to the human.